I'm going to show you how to make a an uh, oil of oregano. Well, you can make essential oils the same way. There's different ways to do things. With this one, I'm using dried oregano. It's better to use fresh wild, but I don't have that. Uh, I have some growing that's fresh, but so this is the dry, and dry is going to soak up some of the oil. So I'm going to use uh, less herbs compared to oil. So I'm going to use a half a cup of dried oregano to one cup of olive oil. And I'll stir it together. I should have at least a half an inch of oil over the top of the herbs once they settle. For now, you can see that looks pretty good. And I'll just set that like that. I'll get the lid on it, and then I'll put it in a cupboard where it's dark, and uh, where the temperature stays pretty consistent. And I'll shake it every day, and then in two months, it'll be ready. I can strain it out, and then I'll have oil of oregano. And oil of oregano is good for many things. It's, uh, it can be mixed with oil. Uh, olive leaf oil or you can mix it with uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, if it's mixed with the uh, um, olive leaf oil which is made the same way uh, then it's one of the strongest antifungal antimicrobials there is it's stronger than any prescription or over-the-counter uh, antifungal antimicrobial medicine there is uh, also, oregano, um, as a tea or an oil, uh, helps um, creams and stuff uh, absorb into the tissues. And also, it can draw out uh, bruises. So, if you have a bruise, you can use uh, uh, all of oregano tea or uh, oregano oil in a hot pack and put it on your bruise area and let it set and then it draws out that bruise from your skin. It's also uh, got a lot of other uh, medicine properties. It's been used for centuries. Uh, I don't want to tell you all the benefits. You can look some up if you're interested. Just gotta let that set now, covered, and in two months it'll be ready. Um, and that's it.